Hello, my name is Doug. I just wanted to quickly introduce uh, my YouTube channel, uh, Holland Ash Moving. It is to document the experience that I'm having um, starting a small business here in Okinawa, Japan, uh, of a small moving company. Uh, the reason I started this is just a little side gig to bring in extra money while I'm not at work. Um, here in Okinawa, Japan, most of the cars are really small. And so it becomes an issue whenever you are trying to uh, move things like refrigerators or beds or furniture. Uh, obviously that stuff doesn't fit into a small car. So I actually got a truck recently. Um, somebody posted it on Facebook yard sales and it was very cheap compared to the normal price for this type of truck. So I um, made an investment and I, I got the truck and this is just me kind of documenting and showing my experience starting this small business to see how it grows. It may, it may be a success, it may be a failure, but uh, either way I'll be posting videos. So I'll be posting videos for you guys to, to watch and maybe um, if you're thinking about starting a, a business of some sort this will help you get in the right direction so with that i hope you enjoy the the video uh this is my first uh real move i had a delivery before but it was just a few boxes and it didn't really count uh this was my first like large move where i had to move furniture and um make things fit in the truck so it was a little bit it was a little bit hard making the uh the call to actually buy this truck because the money that I used was actually part of our savings. It wasn't really slotted to go toward this, but I'm making a little bit of an investment, hoping that uh, this truck will pay for itself and then also bring in extra income. So I'm tracking the uh, I'm tracking the spending on the truck uh, very closely in terms of how much I spend versus how much I make. Um, I bought it off of a gentleman that was kind of sad to part with it but it's kind of a funny story it was really really cheap truck and I asked him what was wrong with it he said nothing was wrong with it and I haven't had any problems with it but uh, after I made the purchase I was looking at the, the gentleman's Facebook page because he uh, is a dive instructor, a, a scuba diving instructor, so I was just trying to look at some of his pictures, and I actually saw pictures of this truck um, that had been, this truck had been blown over on its side during uh, Typhoon Trammy that came through last year, and so I messaged him and I asked like if there was anything wrong with the truck other than like the cosmetic damage that happened from it t tipping on its side. He said there's no, nothing wrong mechanically with it, so we'll have to see. Um, if anything does go wrong mechanically, uh, I'll be trying to do the repairs myself as much as possible to keep costs down. I've already replaced the windshield wiper motor. I have a video uh, of how to replace that if you're ever curious on how to replace a windshield wiper motor in a high jet mini truck because uh, it's interesting because there's no hood. You actually have to remove the dashboard to get to the windshield wiper motor, so it's kind of kind of a pain. So I have a video on me replacing that. It actually didn't correct the problem that I thought it was going to. Uh, the windshield wipers seem to be a little bit slow, but uh, maybe in the future I'll revisit that problem and see if I can figure out why they're slow. Um, today I'm going to go to a customer. He's actually a uh, ex coworker of mine. Uh, we're in the military, stationed at Kadena Air Base. And um, so he's moving from on base to off base, and he has a few things. Uh, I think he said a, a dresser, a bed, a mattress, stuff like that. So we'll see if we can get it to fit. Uh, there's not a lot of vehicle options here in Okinawa as far as trucks. So I got this mini truck, and hopefully we can maneuver the stuff around in the back to, to make it fit. So I'm actually early to uh, meet the uh, customer today. So figured I would uh, give you guys a sh quick tour of the old, the old truck, Hall and Ash moving truck that I got. Uh, it's not much, but it's mine. 
it's a 1995 Daihatsu high jet mini truck and it's a five speed manual transmission it's a yellow plate if you don't know what that means in Japan uh, they have different plates depending on the size of your engine the yellow plate is like the smallest engine uh, it also has less taxes every year uh, this is how the truck came when I got it it's got this tarped over frame which I think might be helpful in uh, if it's raining I can just load up the, the truck and close the back of it up and everything won't get wet um, I think it also may limit me a little bit as far as dimensions because if I didn't have this I could possibly stick outside of the sides of the truck so we may end up taking this off or uh, we'll have to see how well it works out today I also have a uh, dolly here that I've borrowed and I bought bought one of these furniture movers at the store hopefully it actually works I've got them bungee together so they don't rattle around in the back of the truck and then I've got a, a bike lock on there because the bike the back of the truck is open I don't want anybody to come up here and steal it I'll give you a rundown of some of the, the tools I have with me um, I have just a standard tool set some screwdrivers and stuff in case there's anything that's a little bit too big like maybe I need to take the legs off um, to make it fit and then for now hat just for sun gotta protect that skin tape measure just to measure dimensions and make sure got a little bit extra rope here in case the ratchet straps aren't long enough or if I need more than just a few ratchet straps that I do have just some towels sheet blanket and literally some uh, patio furniture cushions uh, obviously none of this stuff is professional because I can't make the investment into getting actual moving blankets and um, large ratchet straps because right now I just have these cheap ones. Uh, I can't make the investment until I can prove that the investment is worth it. So I made a Facebook page for my company. It's called Holland Ash Moving, H-A-U-L-I-N apostrophe space Ash, A-S-H, Moving. Uh, if you want to give that page a like, see what's going on there. Uh, so far there isn't very much because I'm still just trying to expand my reach and customer base. Um, started off by inviting my friends and family that I know here in Okinawa and then I made a post and asked them to invite their friends and family here in Okinawa that might need a truck. And uh, I think it worked because I got a message from somebody that I don't know and I don't really share any mutual friends with them either so uh, apparently my my reach is working somehow. So we just got to uh, the customer's new house. Got to check the load, make sure nothing fell out. I didn't hear any big bangs, so should be good. Uh, I was a little bit concerned because I didn't really tie this too 
too well. We weren't going very far, so I wasn't really worried, worried about it, but uh, looks like it held up. So we're going to unload this, and then we're going to go back and get the second load. All right, so we got the uh, second load loaded. Got the mattress to fit. Had to go diagonal with it. Sticks out the back a little bit, but it's not going anywhere. We threw some chairs on top of there. Got a little love seat and a poker table back there. So a good second load. I'm uh, gonna take a third load because there's also a box spring that needs to go in, but it's not gonna fit with the other stuff in. load delivered so we got to go back and get one more uh, that's the uh, downside to having such a small truck is not everything fits in one trip luckily the uh, the off base apartment is not very far uh, I'm not sure how I would handle it if it was a farther drive um, if I would charge like per mile or per trip or how that would work I'm still working out the kinks on how to do this whole business thing all right so just finished up with the uh, customer for today it actually took a, a little bit longer than we thought it was going to and a few more trips than we thought it was going to I think we took three trips and there was actually still one more that he needed to make but it was getting too late uh, so uh, we were able to renegotiate and strike a acceptable deal for both of us as far as uh, compensation so that's good uh, as far as uh, my first real customer though it was a pretty good experience uh, obviously it's a lot of work moving stuff especially if you're moving it upstairs moving it downstairs but uh, it worked out so I'm hoping that uh, I get more customers pretty quickly I also realized uh, while I was editing the video that I didn't really do like a, a formal outro. Uh, I know that I said that I hope I have more customers, which I do uh, hope that. And um, I actually have had a few customers since the, the first one. So things are slowly uh, picking up, which is good. And uh, tomorrow I'm actually going to go to the uh, base legal office to talk about the uh, legalities and uh, the requirements for running a business. So hopefully when I talk to the base legal office tomorrow they don't give me any uh, cease and desist orders or uh, any giant hoops that I have to jump through in order to keep this business going um, because I am providing a service that is needed because I do want to provide this service to people here because uh, like I said there are not a lot of trucks available to Americans to move things like this. So be on the lookout for uh, my next video which will probably be the uh, do's and don'ts of starting your own business uh, in Okinawa and uh, hopefully what the future will hold for Hall and Ash moving. Hopefully this isn't the end of it. So if you uh, if you enjoyed this video please uh, leave some comments even if you didn't enjoy this video please leave some comments some suggestions or um, critiques I will uh, definitely take those into account um, I know that the quality is not professional yet you know because one I'm, I'm new at this and two I'm not using professional level equipment um, again it's a investment versus payoff thing I don't want to go out and buy a whole bunch of cameras and lights and microphones if this isn't going to pan out and 
be profitable, so uh, so to speak. Thanks for watching. See you next time.